Hey, I'm Robbie Kramer. You're listening to the Leverage Podcast, where we discuss using your social skills to hack dating, travel, finding your dream job, and becoming a complete man. Ah, perfect. 69 login. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I found a lot of slaves. You need to... Yeah. I found a lot, a lot of slaves. Uh, we need to update you guys. So we're um, <laughs> we're we're gonna have uh, Timur on this call. He'll be joining us any second. Um, who is a very famous porn star? Um, if you Google Timur right. Hardy or Timo Hardy, T I M O Hardy, um, you've definitely jerked off to his videos before without realizing it. Uh, <laughs> I like to say and, and um, he was telling me, I was in Belize, Georgia, a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, Chargers here. And he was telling me the story about how he had slaves. And I'm like, slaves? What are you talking about? He's <laughs> like, I had a slave. I still have a slave. And I'm like, what do you mean you have a fucking slave? Like, how much do you pay him? He's like, he's a slave. I don't pay him. Guys, yesterday. Um, I, Wait, let me well, finish telling okay. the, the back. So, so I'm like, well, where do you find someone like this? And they're like, well, I'm kind of famous. So they just message me. And they're like, I want to be your slave. And I was like, okay. And then what does the setup go like? And they're like, yeah, well, they come over. Amazing. They come over, they clean my house, they fucking do my dishes, they, you know, wash my clothes. Um, when there's a, a party happening, they clean up during the party and they go get extra stuff. And um, the more work I give them, the more happy they are and the more loyal they are. And, he, and it's so basically the people, if you think about it, you're like, who the fuck would sign up for that, right? But the people who sign up to be slaves are really wealthy like people in positions of power who are constantly telling other people what to do and they just want to be like you know they want to have the experience in life where they're just like fucking nothing like the like it's a weird social the... fetish yeah you know there's a lot of like if you look at all the guys who go on seeking arrangements or other like um sites like that and they they order uh, hookers to come and fuck them in the ass, like pegging. It's almost all like rich CEOs because they're in the position of power and they want to feel submissive. Um, so they'll they'll yeah. be a slave for that. What does it say? You, you need, need a, sl a slave. So well, you got to show your your profile. No, no, no it's uh, like a... the screen's too bright. I can't see it. It's, it's okay, just all so white. You need a slave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I told this idea to Christina, and she's been having a mental orgasm for the last like five yeah, hours. <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! Yeah. So she want, she's I trying will. to beat a slave. No, no, she wants a slave. I, I will have slave. Like um, we were thinking to get slave in one week, but I think we will have it tomorrow. <laughs> We'll for sure have a slave within a week. So that that's our challenge is we'll, we will have a slave within <laughs> within the week. <laughs> Dude, that sounds uh, awesome. Yeah, I mean. Slavery's back in vogue, man. You got to. Slavery's in. Slavery, yeah, slavery is. Get the slave. Yeah. Yeah, we're also thinking if it works out, we're going to start a new site, getaslave.com. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Slavery came back, and <laughs> slaves want to be slaves. It's it's amazing. Make slavery great again. Yeah, yeah. Make slavery. <laughs> Let me message Timo. Where's my phone? I don't know where. So it's not even sexual anything though. It's not at all. Like uh, it, start tomorrow. Okay. Start tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what he will need to do tomorrow? Uh, where, uh, Tell him to come over and clean the house. <laughs> Dude, I need a slave. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, so <the laughs> Timo will tell the story. It's fucking unbelievable. And he, like he was telling the story how uh, he had one of his slaves, like he didn't have enough for him to do, for him to do. So he's like, all right, 
So for the next month, you're my friend slave. And just you know, slaved him out. He, li- he obviously listened. And then um, he was, the friend was like, hey, your slave is my slave now. Like he's not loyal to you anymore. He's, he's mine. And Timo was like, I don't think so, man. No way. No way. And then <laughs> Timo was like, listen, your slavery with that motherfucker is over come back to me and he goes okay and like immediately (laughs) (laughs) he was like in the middle of doing some big project and the and he was like i'm finished and he's like what do you mean you're my slave you can't finish he goes fuck you i'm not your slave i'm timo's slave and (laughs) (laughs) like those motherfuckers try to get cocky and steal my slaves not gonna happen (laughs) well i imagine whoever's the most like alpha in that situation is the one that the slave is gonna exactly yeah because you know you have to be a real (laughs) slave driver otherwise you know they're gonna find a better master Hmm. i bet if he had busted out a whip his friend had been like no you're not going back and like just started beating (laughs) on him he would have been like okay master oh yeah he he beats the shit out of them they uh (laughs) they they need that apparently wow and want it (laughs) what's the most effective like is that where you apply the thumb rule? Like nothing thicker okay, than your thumb? Look at, look at you know the rule of thumb? Oh, this is slave of my rule friend. Of thumb. Oh, nice. He's even yeah. shit on his head. Look. <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm in love. With this That's what I, yeah. That's where the rule of thumb idiom comes from. You're not allowed to. It was like back in the day, you couldn't beat your wife with something thicker than your thumb, because that would actually do injury. Something thicker than your thumb, so you could yeah, use like a, because that a way small, could, yeah. like a switch. Yeah. Like a riding that's, crop or that's something. That's pain, but not actually injury. You're not going to break a bone with something smaller. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? No. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, Timo. Okay. Nice. Welcome to the call, man. Um, I'm not sure if you, uh, you, you don't have to do video, obviously, because I know you don't want to, but if you, if you do, maybe you can see everyone else's video, right? Okay, I can see you right behind of you, the girl. I don't know if I should see any <laughs> other guys so, around. Yeah, I saw, I, I think I saw somebody else. So Okay, I, cool. Yeah, I'm here. So to give uh, to give you guys an introduction, I kind of already was telling them some funny slave stories, um, but that's just going to be one small part of the interview. Um, I met I met Timo uh, what, three weeks ago. Um, <laughs> I was traveling to uh, Belize, Georgia, and um, I was with uh, my friend, and we brought some girls and went for the weekend. Um, and. Uh, the last day of the trip, uh, Timo and I basically spent like all day walking around talking about girls and life. And uh, it was a really good conversation. Uh, and I found out a lot of interesting things, especially that slavery exists and it's very in vogue. <laughs> and the, uh, the beauty of life, having a slave. Um, Timo is a, how, how do you say it? Adult film actor? Is that the, the proper nomenclature? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell us, um, give us like a backstory on how you got into being a porn star. Okay. You know, a uh, long time ago it was, especially like uh, I can't even count how many years ago I did last scene. Uh, mm-hmm. But before I was doing a lot. So when I started, and. Uh, I was performing like seven years, I think. And I started when I was uh, 18 or like 19 years old Mm -hmm. and was doing in Russia like three, four scenes every day. So in one time I was like the biggest part of like content that comes from Russia. Okay. And uh, especially this way, I start to be more popular and in the next uh, years, I start to shoot uh, for bigger companies. And uh, then- Was it illegal I, at the time? I turned, yeah. Like, 
now it's like kind of like really illegal but before you could work and uh, you know you could feel free but okay you know what you should do yeah to be like safe and you're like okay nobody was really care about shooting porn okay because we were not, we were not doing anything like bad to girls right. okay so no one of the girls wrote any paper to police okay mm -hmm. and then situation changed with one director he came in uh, st petersburg to shoot his castings okay and uh, he did like a story like he put camera for the girl casting and she said okay please i don't want you to film it and he said okay i won't film it but he was continuing to shoot mm -hmm. it and the thing was that it was a story for his casting like he turned off the camera and continued shooting but uh in the end when this video showed up everywhere in the internet girl wrote to police like she was raped uh and she didn't want to let this guy shoot video and he said that he turned it off but he was shooting her and she didn't know anything about that and she only signed the papers for the like photo preview not like right. sex video mm -hmm. and then yeah it started to be really risky you know to continue working and uh, i just stopped you know because did anything come of that like did the police uh, arrest him or any yeah he got in trouble and uh, i think he paid off and now he just don't show up anymore in russia okay mm -hmm. so this is the end of the story and then it started to be like risky because police start to be like interested in porn what's going on inside Mm -hmm. And uh, they showed up on a couple of studios that were shooting, you know, like content in St. Petersburg. And it was a like bad signal, you know, so I stopped. I stopped. Let me, let me ask a back up a second. So when you're 18, um, what, you just finished uh, high school or college, as they say, no, right? I, did, I didn't finish it. I was on the okay. second grade how did you um how do you like just get into porn do you have to know someone you're just like oh okay. i like to fuck uh, and... it was my brother he was mm -hmm. like a uh like a guy you know who's looking something like that okay and uh, he started you, he's looking soon. like a porn star you know he was like interested <laughs> in all this going on you know he was a webcam model okay Everyone could okay. be a webcam model. Everyone. Oh, web but okay. not everyone wants to be a model. And not like many guys were looking for this kind of job, okay? Mm -hmm. And my brother was a guy that was like looking for this job, to be a webcam model, okay? So through webcam modeling, he found job in like shooting adult movies. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So he got you into it, basically. Yeah. Uh, once I like said that I want to try it, but like kind of he was ignoring me. And in one day, it was a situation when like one guy didn't show up, okay? And uh, they were looking for somebody who can handle, you know, the scene. So mm -hmm. I showed up like that. Okay, so then um, fast forward back to what you were telling us before. After okay, so, incident. you know, that's why, you know, I had, like, lots of, like, sexual experience around of me, okay, because, you know... Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Before, when you were, before that, like, when you were, you know, 16, 17, 18, okay. what was your sexual experience like? Okay, I really was into it, okay? The, the thing was that when just, like, cameras started to, like, showing up and on the phones, even, like, digital cameras, you know, yeah. Uh, all girls between themselves start spreading the story that Timur is a guy uh, who's fucking the girl, uh, making pictures, and then showing it to other girls that he fucks next time. Okay. So this is <laughs> okay. what my like a story around of me. And, uh, <laughs> Your reputation. Even when I was in the school, <laughs> it was my reputation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and some girls were looking for me, you know, they knew that it's going to be like fun experience, you know, because it was like not many guys who were shooting anything with their girls while like through having sex. 
okay it was something special mm -hmm. you know girl could get like cool like story you know and she knew that for me just for one time you know just right for fun it's like oh timor's this guy who's gonna yeah, fuck me and fun, film yeah. me yeah sounds yeah. like a, an adventure why not yeah but some of the girls <laughs> like small person even now you know it's like maybe like five percent of the girls you know they kind of ready you know for this type of like situation uh, they just like not all of them like want to show up somewhere in the internet okay because it's not right. like you showed the guy you're living with or like a couple of your friends you know it's like you put it online and bam millions of people <laughs> can see it so <laughs> mm -hmm. that's why not many girls like are ready for like we story but they like to be filmed for sure yeah so we were when we were talking the the funniest thing um you know, I, I, I kind of had a weird moment where everything you were saying I could relate to and I experienced that and I'm like, huh, I guess I've been kind of living the life of a porn star for a pretty long time without realizing it because we, you know, we're talking about like the same sort of shit that happens. It's like the more of a, I don't know if you call it a sex symbol or a fuck boy or it's like the more sexual and less of the you know knight in shining armor committed guy you come across the faster girls will fuck you and you would think it's the opposite like you think mm -hmm. oh like you know oh i got you know this guy is blah, blah blah like he i'm not gonna fuck with him because he's 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 dirty he's gross he's a fucking porn star but it's it's the complete opposite they're like yeah, oh but, i i really want to fuck him Why yeah but especially it is very often situation when girl sits like behind of you and says you like you're like dirty as shit, you know, you're fucking all girls around, you stick your dick in us, other like girls like ass or, you know, mouse, and then you want to fuck me? Yeah, why not? And like in, <laughs> in like a couple hours, you know, she's getting naked and okay, fuck me, you know, because <laughs> yeah, they like to be dirt, part of always dirty shit, you know, but they never tell you about that. Right. They have to pretend to be like, oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, it was one girl, very, very like, 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 like a nice girl, you know, and she was like a doctor or something. And she said, you know, I want to try you because I feel that you are like something like bad of me, you know, like my like worst part of me, you know, like feels mm -hmm. like good with you. And I have to like let it be, you know, mm -hmm. explore it yeah <laughs> um yeah it's it's so it, that that was kind of the most eye-opening thing for me too when i was i, I guess i kind of hit a level um with my sexuality when i started just completely not giving a fuck about like you know admitting the type of guy i was and that's when you know, sex became much more uh, readily available. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but yeah. Um, so it, it's a it's a strange kind of, especially really strange for people growing up in in the U.S. because of feminism and all the cultural things around sex. Was it like that at all in Russia? I'm guessing no. Yeah, in Russia, maybe things changing now on this target, you know, before you could feel free, you know, and mm -hmm. do like the way you think is right. Even like, yeah, uh, yeah you, you could, you could be like, there, like, you could control the situation around you easy, mm -hmm. if you want it. Mm -hmm. So what happened after the, uh, the, uh, the cops came like when did you start you told me you had like a production company for a while and you guys were filming all the time tell us about that uh you know it was uh like a production like a production and the thing was that i still was performing in the scenes so which is the only period when i could feel okay with that because when you're just performing in the movies mm -hmm. uh you're like you're not doing anything like really illegal you know because you're not 
filming, you're not selling. If you are like performing only and you're doing by yourself, you're not like a group guys that, okay, me is performing, my friend is uh, like shooting and my other friend sell it, okay? We're a group of guys. <laughs> but if you are not in group and you can do it. And uh, the thing was that I was only performing, but then, you know, still you start to feel like stress around of all this story and it's it's it stopped to be so much fun and you know mm -hmm. when you start feel that it's risky you think okay it doesn't cost with risk okay you won't lose your like freedom for fucking in porn which is not easy job <laughs> yeah tell us more about the job i'm interested in that like what's a normal day of work like how long are you fucking um, how much like, uh, dick pills or other shit like that do you have to take or not? Okay. It depends, you know, what is the production? What is uh, like the way like, uh, shooting is going to be. Well, when I was starting, I was doing like a lot of short scenes, like, like fake story of love or like forcing the girl. Okay. It was like too biggest like ways shooting could be and uh what's a short scene how long is that it is like 20 minutes 20 okay. minutes scene. Mm -hmm. yeah you can shoot it without any stop okay you just 20 minutes and you're done and uh, if girl is okay good looking you do it easy and you don't need any pills you don't need any like concentration you do it okay but if girl hot and you really want to fuck her this is fun. Yeah. What if you, uh, what if she's super hot and like you come too fast? Yeah, you can do whatever. Uh, if you can continue <laughs> after. Oh, then you have to go, okay. <laughs> if you can yeah, continue, I... <laughs> no problem. <laughs> if and not, if you can't, if, if yeah, not, then you're what? fucked. <laughs> you know, so it means you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Like yeah, one guy. I, I had I had one guy, and he always was <laughs> breathing on his cock, you know, to make it colder. Like <laughs> <laughs> he was asking, stop, 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 stop. Then <laughs> okay, <sighs> we can continue. I, I don't, this is interesting. Like I don't know. Like once, once I feel like I'm about to, or I'm getting closer to coming, it's like there's no stopping it um like there's no like i don't know, even know. it's like the, well what there is no way back exactly so and sometimes you know that like before anything even starts um you guys have all seen american pie you know like mm -hmm. is that anything you ever had to deal with or did you always had like control over when you're gonna come uh no of course you can easy it, it could easy happens you know but uh especially for me it was like one type of the girls that you know was making me like come faster than the other old girls okay mm -hmm. and uh, for, for me it was possible you just go slowly then you start thinking about something you know you're like okay and uh, then you continue you know you do like short rest you think about your grandma that, yeah. that technique Sometimes. never worked for me yeah no Stop it's not thinking about, about grandma just, and the subject just, about uh, start to talk about Robbie, we'll talk about slaves down, in a second you know? you grandma, <laughs> maybe that's the problem <laughs> the hot granny yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah it was a uh, like cool story about always performing in uh, porn movies but then you know i start to be bored uh guys did it ever like, did it ever make normal sex um like did you feel like you were acting when you were shooting porn versus when you weren't you were just yeah, like of yeah of yeah yeah in the in the like the biggest part of time i was performing it was the way i was doing my job okay I, I, I did not make any like scene with the girls that I don't like. Okay. All girls that I was having scenes, they were girls I liked. 
and mm -hmm. uh, all like companies I come to work it was only like the companies where I feel good okay it's my friends guys all guys like they're my friends so for me it was like like a fun most part of the time and uh, of course uh, you could have like real sex and uh, especially yeah it was even for the movie good when you're doing real sex not like fake story fake action. when you feel because, something you know uh in russia you do like real or your scene will be shit because girls are not professional not like american porn stars you know they they can fuck themselves you know uh, in Russia, most part of the girls, it's like a dead fish. And if you won't make her like hot, high, you know, the scene will be shit. That's why like, not, like I don't know, like biggest part of Russian porn like is like boring, like nothing, you know, like people watch it only because girls are young, you know, but sex is dead. <laughs> dead fish. <laughs> So did you ever um, date any any of the girls you worked with? Yeah, it was in the start. <laughs> in the start. Did, but then I did that stopped go? my shit. <laughs> Why'd you stop? What was the problem? Uh, when I just started, I was serious about this kind of relationship. And uh, you always was getting in a bad story. Like uh, your girlfriend have started like, doing something like to make like your career or make like big money for a short time, you know, and you don't really like it with shit, but she's okay with you like performing everywhere and fucking girls around and you feel cool about that. But when somebody calls her to do like the, like the scene with the guy, like with some other guy, not with you, but especially with even in one moment, it feels bad even when you're doing the scene yourself with your girlfriend, you know, you don't feel good. But when some company call your girlfriend to do like the scene for them, like with like maybe with two or three guys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're like, okay, it's yeah. gonna be hot. <laughs> yeah. So you think that it's okay, but when it happens, you start thinking, okay, it was not okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I've had, I've been in a lot of open relationships and I've gone to swingers parties. Um, and I, I could kind of use my, um, I don't know, I guess with the girls I felt like I was really in love with, I would get jealous. But the ones yeah, that I course. wasn't, yeah, no uh, yeah, yeah, of course. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. <laughs> but when it's like the real like stories that you really feel like you love with girl, you know, you're like, uh, uh, okay. But then I always had like a group of girls around on me, you know, they were living in my house and I could let everybody have sex with my girls you know but they were like my girls and right. yeah but you feel okay even you feel cool you know when some of your guys come and have fun you know with your girl ain't no fun if the homies can't have none snoop dog uh-huh yeah yeah um <laughs> so yeah how did that what, what was your lifestyle like when you were shooting you were living with girls um shooting every day or most of the time yeah it was the most part of the time and at the time I, would, I was not shooting i was spending the money i made from shooting on the girls okay <laughs> so <laughs> i was doing the scene in the daytime then in the evening i have a dinner with a new girl you know and uh, having fun whole night with her and then in the morning i'm trying to wake up and go to make like fucking sex scene again sometimes after <laughs> so party <laughs> You don't feel like sometimes you don't even sleep, you know, before you go <laughs> for a war. You think, okay, in the Saturday we have seen, uh, can you put it on the morning? Like, in what morning? Like, early morning. Okay, you sure you want to wake up? Yeah, like at 8 a.m. Okay. Like, oh, I'm just not going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not going to sleep. <laughs> and, you know, it seems like they're cool. They're really cool when you, like, having a whole night in the club, looking on the girls around, but you like controlling yourself. You don't pick up like and bringing girls home. So uh, sometimes, of course, you bring girl home, <laughs> but you're trying to control yourself. Like, and in the morning, you feel like 
turn on you're you're cool to have a new girl you never saw before you just come and okay fuck her <laughs> and you do whatever you want with her you know <laughs> yeah so how does that work basically like they're like okay this is anya um yeah go ahead do and do, do whatever you want like piss yeah, in her asshole yeah but uh, when, when, <laughs> when 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 you're like when you're like okay i was kind of i was kind of star okay i was like star one mm -hmm. of the like the guys who were doing the biggest part of the scenes okay it was like always like one or two guys who is doing all of the scenes in the city okay and uh i had some fans already so for producer it was easy way to shoot the scene you do whatever you want start mm -hmm. go and they give you like a time like uh, you know go for 20 minutes go for 30 minutes go for what's the longest uh, they would tell you and doing, like, do they give I was you trying to make every scene without stop yeah i love to this way you know when i don't stop when i don't do the rest uh, but mm -hmm. if the scene is long and uh, the company is big like brazers or like uh you have to do house okay because you can't handle long scene without stop yeah what's the longest yeah I, I, for my uh movies where i was director uh like the main guy the story was around of me on all mm -hmm. movies not around the girls uh it could be like one hour one hour 20 minutes one scene it's a pretty long time i mean you know time time goes fast when you're fucking but um like 20 minutes feels like forever at least for me uh, so an hour yeah but the thing was you know uh with with scenes that it's not like the way the guy will watch we scene whole for one time okay mm -hmm. it was the scene that guy can start and finish in like five minutes and then put it again and continue watching okay got it so how long were you so you're living basically living with girls fucking new girls all the time going out meeting new girls fucking them um did you ever get bored with sex or did it ever start to kind of change in your mind i know that the i think i know the end answer because <laughs> when we're hanging out it didn't seem like that of course with those girls you met at the sauna um, but did did sex ever like switch to this more like a work or like a, a annoying sort of thing you had to do? Uh, not really, you know. Uh, it it was like when you have more sex, you're feeling you want even more, you know. And yeah. when you don't have sex, you don't want sex. And if you're doing it every day, you're going you are start to be like you live with energy you know you go mm -hmm. in gym and you have with like it pushes you you know it, it 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 feels like it feels good because girls are new always around of me you know and mm -hmm. i i had like the list of the girls okay i had the list in my phone the girls that i want to fuck you know and i was handling every next like day the other one girl and even in porn everybody knew that it couldn't be it couldn't be any girl that showed up in with industry and i didn't fuck her you know mm -hmm. even like in city when girl comes in city and somebody meets her somewhere like in nightclub and say hey so you came like from other like city like i don't know Ekaterinburg? yeah i'm here like one or two weeks do you know timur no who's timur oh, okay strange and like <laughs> everyone knew that if new girl shows up you know for sure i will fuck her and i will do it like i would make everything to do it first you know and uh, <laughs> the funniest thing was that i fucked with girl but she knew me like for my other name she said that me is not like timor uh, me like uh, like other name you know she didn't remember my name mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so what um so how long did you live that lifestyle like 10 or 12 years right uh 
seven, eight years. Seven or eight years, okay. And why uh, why did you decide to finish? Uh, things start to be changing, you know, and uh, it's like, I start to feel like I don't want to be like performer for all my life, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I start to feel more cool with the girls when I tell them that I'm ex-porn actor than if I tell them I'm porn act, okay? It starts to be like, not so cool like it was before, you mm -hmm. know? Because when I was porn actor, it was something special. Uh, now, every like jerk can be like porn actor. Especially Just with because all of the with all well, the channels that? in internet, you know, it started to be like so easy. Everyone could be own, everyone can have own porn company in his house. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. When, when did that it shift like, happen? It's like the stupidest shit you can do, you know? <laughs> yeah. When did that happen? Was that like five or six years ago or how long? Yeah, I think it was like five or six years ago. And I start, uh, and I start living with one girl, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was living with one girl. And uh, I was trying to change my lifestyle like fast, but it didn't work. <laughs> so I lived my, with my girlfriend and uh, was still continue to fuck all girls around, you know? You're so trying was, to not. Yes, I was trying, but I couldn't. Right. <laughs> yeah. So... And how did yeah, she feel started, about that? Yeah, she didn't know directly that it is going on around of her. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but she could understand. She could mm -hmm. feel that I didn't change my mind, you know, and I'm still uh, really interested in all girls around. And of course, sometimes shit happened, and uh, I was trying to fuck some of her friends, right? Like, right of course. here, of, of her, <laughs> yeah. She Why happened. not? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I couldn't control myself, you know. And then I tell her, okay, why you bring your nice girls in my house? You know? Why are you bringing and, these nice pussies over if you know? Yeah, and you know who you I am. Her, yeah, you put her in our bed. And what why would you, you put me in this situation? <laughs> yeah, she's on our bed. I thought mm. you're cool with that, you know? I thought you want to try it yourself. <laughs> but you're like shy. So, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, start of the end story, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend was the last point. I had an ex-girlfriend, she's like, you fucked all of my friends. I'm like, well, you fucked them too. She's like, well, I didn't really mean for that to happen. Like, I, I'd bring them over and then we'd fuck them. But that, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? You fucked all of them. And that was like, <laughs> that was just normal. <laughs> so, it, it, I don't know. It's just fucking strange that... uh It's the, I'm trying to remember the, the term for that. It's, I'm forgetting, but going back to your story. So, so what happened after that girl? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that girl, okay. Yeah, we just quit. Or we better stopped. question. So after, so basically you're, you're doing porn, you decide you, you want to stop um yeah and then what like can you go into like porn commentary you know like professional basketball players you know they they get too old for porn or uh -huh. <laughs> they get too old for basketball and they're like i'm gonna be in a uh, you know someone who calls a game or whatever like can you still stay in the industry yeah of course of course mm -hmm. yeah i have all connections I can do like directing or like producing my own movies or doing like 
all you know, like scenes for big companies. But yeah, I can do it still. Yeah, so tell us the backstory on how, we, how you got your first slave and how that even became a thing. Okay. Uh, okay, so it was one guy writing me on VK. Okay, he was writing me, keep writing. And uh, like I didn't was like serious about with that shit at all, you know. I started some like gay stuff, and uh, I'm not interested in with shit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my brother came, and he said, "Okay, this one guy writing me, he wants to be our slave for me and for you." I said, "Yeah." He wrote me too, but I didn't even reply. He said, "Yeah, okay, he can come. What do you think?" I said, "Yeah, okay, he can come. No problem." My brother is like special guy that let everyone like come, you know, in our house from the street, from the club, <laughs> you know, everyone can come in our house. Even if uh, you don't have where to sleep, you can come in our house, you know? So <laughs> yeah, he was cool with everyone around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, it, it is one of the reasons why we don't live together now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this guy came and he said, okay, I can do whatever you want for you to make your life be more, I can make your life more comfortable for you. So I can make like cleaning in your house and uh, like cooking, you know, making some small things for you, uh, like anything you ask, okay? And he started like handling some things like cleaning after party, it was perfect. You know, you have fucking party, you can't bring cleaner, you just call the slave, he comes and he cleans all place. You go to sleep, you just like you're partying, then you feel that you like tired or you got good girl, okay? You're living with her in your room and then you call your slave and tell him, okay, let everyone, everyone can leave, just make cleaning and like go like shopping, bring some wine or like champagne for us. And, <laughs> You, know. oh, you get him to kick everyone out. That's the that's the hardest job. Yeah. Of the after party. He, he called. He called. <laughs> yeah. He called everyone taxi. He pays for his taxi. He put everyone on a car. You know, so everyone feel cool. <laughs> you know, it 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 was it was even better than uh, you know they would stay there longer because next day they call you and say, oh, it was so cool. You know, we finished the party right exactly in the moment when it should be finished. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why not? Because, you know, it, is, it was the same good like if you're like, if you're meeting with a girl, okay, and uh, you're gonna drive to pick her up on your car, okay? It's, it's okay. You're a cool guy, you have car, but it's for who? For like young girl, maybe, uh, okay. It's nobody, it, nobody will be impressed, you know, when you come to pick up girl on your car, you know, you can have party, but when you send your driver to pick up the girl, to feel even more like, like cool than yeah. if you would pick her up by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big time. With, Especially yeah, same with the slave. When you <laughs> would would the slave tell the girl that he's your slave? Because that's gonna give you some major uh, major points too. <laughs> uh, girls are new all around. The yeah, old girls knew who's the guy who is like doing the cleaning while the party is going on, you know, so we can have fun and he's controlling the situation. So if somebody needs something, he is doing that. So when and I was partying, it was perfect for me. And this was a rich guy, right? Basically, a, it seems like anyone who would want to be a slave is someone who's in a powerful position in life and they want uh, to kind of experience the opposite of being totally when, submissive. Maybe when they are like getting older, because this guy was very young. He was a hmm. student only. Okay, he was studying and he didn't have any money, you know. Yeah, and now he have money, okay. But it was like 10 years ago when he showed up. So now he's making good money and he's like... Oh, it's been the same slave the whole time. Yes, 10 years. Fuck. <laughs> Tell the story about when you, when you gave your slave to your friend. Yeah. Uh, for now, you know, I don't have 
so much to do for him because I'm not having party every day. So, uh, and he feel like he wants to do something for me, but he don't have anything to do for me because I don't need anything, you know, from him. So I start giving him to my friends so they can use him for themselves. I have one like a uh, friend, he's like 23 years, you know, and he's having parties. And I said, you just call my slave, he comes and clean everything after the party. So now he used him and he cleans after parties of my friend, not of my parties, because I'm not doing parties. <laughs> what about the guy who, who said, oh, your slave is now my slave. And you said, yeah, uh, it was, uh. it, yeah, it was fun. Like my friends between each other, like talked and one told the other, like, okay, I'm using Timur's slave now. Like, seems like we slave is mine, you know? And I say, and so, like I said, yeah, but still I'm like figuring who's going to be like, uh, for who he will do things, you know, and I can stop mm -hmm. it. I can continue it. Yeah. And he, he feel good about that, that. You know, I'm controlling that. Yeah, you took him away, right? Your friend was getting too uh, cocky. Like, oh, he's my slave now. He said, fuck you. And he took the slave away. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't take the slave away. Uh, now oh, you he's didn't? Two my friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now he's for two my friends. And he, in one time he was like, oh, what shall I do? You know, uh, they both call me tomorrow. I said, find out in what time. Like, you can be with one guy and then another time you can be with other guy. So, and he's not gay, you know, but, uh, I mean. There was nothing sexual about the relationship, right? It's just purely, nothing, he comes. Nothing, nothing sexual at all, you know, but. Why would he you know, want to be a slave? Be slave? But nothing sexual at all, but still he wants to be slave for me, you know, and I'm the guy, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's because you're famous? and he just like has a, a lot of respect for you and wants to be around you that he wants to be a slave uh maybe in the start when he was just looking on us you know to come but now things change and i'm not like popular so much now and uh, i like i don't like to be famous you know even mm -hmm. like i'm not living with lifestyle okay like mm -hmm. I'm more like low profile now, and uh, but he's still around with me because of like for him, he finds me like like a special, you know, like a special like like a special like a father guy, father figure, like like uh, like 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 unreal person, you know, like everything mm -hmm. I do is super like high, you know, even if I don't do anything. How how often like how many hours of slavery does he put in per week? I don't know. It depends for you and uh, all nobody, his friends. Nobody, no, nobody is accounting. Uh, he do everything. Well, I mean, just to to guess, what what would you think? How much time he spends to be slave? Yeah. When when he was living in my house, he was spending whole his life to be slave. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like. So he's living with you for a while, huh? Yeah, like, uh, it was a period when I was partying every day. Of course, I had slave right in my house, 24 <laughs> hours. He was changing and my bed twice a day, you know? <laughs> so, so, and the more work you gave him, the happier he was, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. The, and it was so well, fun, you know? Uh, you know, girls were getting really turned on when they like start like seeing all this shit. You know, like in the morning, I could start like treating him, you know, like punishing him for something. And girls always were trying to stop me. But then they were getting hot looking when I like punishing him, you know. So girls loved this shit. Even the girls, they say, no, no, please, like don't do this shit with him, you know. And then I see that they like this shit, you know, girls like when they feel that somebody like, like a boss, you know, right. they like this shit. Yeah, really. And I so you're beating, it. you're beating the slave, you know, and, and it really worked because for girls, it was like big surprise. Like, what the fuck? Like, I thought like it was all fake story. You just pay him and he's doing cleaning your house 24 hours. But I didn't like 
uh, I didn't understand that it's like the real story and he's really your slave. <laughs> like, it is like stage two, you know? Right. They knew that it's my slave, but they were okay because they didn't believe that he was my slave. And then it Fuck. is shock. Yeah, then <laughs> shock. So how badly would you beat him? And what would you do? It depends how, like, I would feel myself, you know? I could do it for him, mm-hmm. and sometimes I could do it for myself. And when I was doing it for him, I was not so, like, much, like, strong. Yeah, I would just, right. like... Yeah, but, oh, of course, we had the special, like, a belt, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, he could be, like, really damaged, okay? That he fell on the floor, like, trying to, you know, like, run away, but not himself, his body trying to run away, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so would he just, he would just want to, I mean, it sounds like a kind of a straightforward um, BDSM relationship, um, but... Would he like, would he say, okay, I've been bad, beat me now? Or I, would he fuck things up on purpose so you would beat him? Like how does, how did the beating begin? Uh, it depends situation. Uh, mostly I start for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, him. Yeah. Mostly I start like, mostly I start talk with him. You know, I start like telling him uh, what, he did wrong you know where he was bad and then i start to push more on him pushing more on him and boom uh, it starts <laughs> is there like a safe word uh no, <laughs> no. um Huh. Did you have any ever have any conflicts where he was like, fuck you, I don't want to be your slave anymore, or? Uh, no, no. It was, uh, like, it was more, like, normal with my brother. In one time, he started doing nothing for him. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, go and shop and bring something, like, I need. And he's like, okay. And he's just not doing anything, you know? Mm-hmm. And you start to feel like you can't push on him because he don't want to do, yeah? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it was happening with me too. When I was not like punishing him like long time, you start like telling him to do something and he was like kind of slowly, you know, or like lazy. You tell him to do something and he's still lying, you know? What the fuck, right. why he's fucking lying, you know, in my house? What's this, what, what what's going on? You know, slave is lying in my house. You know, on the, on the, on the, like on the couch. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and it's so crazy. Have, so you have to turn the situation. You know, you have to drop him on the floor. You know. Mhm. And then he wakes up and start starting to be like good slave again. So he has a full time job. He lives a normal life and just on the side he's a slave yeah mm-hmm. yeah fuck so do it's you think like do you think anyone could have a slave or is this like a special situation that you just kind of found uh yeah i think people can have own slaves but it is still a risk, okay? You never know uh, what can happen with the crazy guy that is always around of you. You know, maybe in one day or one night, he will come and kill you. This is the <laughs> yeah, most good point. popular story. This is the most <laughs> popular story I heard from all my friends around. Like in one night, he's gonna he snap. To you. <laughs> yeah. But Fine. you never know. You never know. But still, it works more than 10 years. Nobody will give you such a long guarantee. So tell us about your girlfriends being jealous of the slave. No, it's not like a girlfriend. It was one girl on the party that was looking how I'm treating him and said, okay, I was bad too, you know? You should treat me and punish me 
too, you know? And Slave said, what the fuck? We're, uh, like, I'm really sorry, but aren't you going to take one more slave in our house? I said, yeah, maybe we can have- Oh, the slave was slave jealous. <laughs> yeah, slave was jealous. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. And then I said, okay, I will take her, but I don't want to control her, so you will control her. And I took the girl slave, and she was under his control. Oh, it's, it's a nice hierarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How long did it that was, last? It was fun, you know. I could pee on her. <laughs> fun, just. How long did the that double slave thing last for? I think he pushed her out. Yeah. But uh, I didn't really was worrying about that. I wasn't mm -hmm. really so much missing her. So I don't know, like, like a month or maybe a couple of months. Yeah, you know, when One you told me the story, when you told me the story, I was like, you know, it made sense in my mind that there's people out there that want to be a slave. Like, you know, on, on one... But the thing is, you know, with slaves, they want more than the guy who will own them. This is the problem. And what do they the want? Slave, they start like pouring, like uh, start like pushing you, you know? They like start like using you, you know, more than you use them. For you attention or how are they? very fast how are they using you huh how, what what are they doing to use you yes they keep begging you you know writing you sms like uh, uh when you meet they always like talking about things that they want you know to see you know between you and like him or her you know so they're being annoying basically and Wanting yeah, attention? It's not you controlling the situation. It is like him controlling you and making right. you to do things he like. Yeah. Well, sometimes you have to wonder who's the slave and who's the master. Yes. Like in a BDSM relationship. Happened with me. Once with uh -huh. situation happened with me, you know, when you start like like punishing him too much, it's it's the same like with the girl that you fuck too much if you fuck girl too much you start to be crazy about sex and you can't go like like lower you know you have to be super high with her every fucking day three or four times a day you know no mm -hmm. less <laughs> and she start like fucking you you know it's not you mm -hmm. like you're like you're like having like she's having sex with you she's using you you know and you're working on her you know and same shit would happen with a slave when you're punishing him too much he start pushing you like, okay, I'm done. You know, I'm so bad. You, I want you like to treat me like harder. Like, uh, let's like, I don't know, like damage me with something, you know, with a knife or like some shit, you know, like crazy. Or like asking to be on him, you know, like you think, okay, what the fuck? Like, he's not asking you like that. He's writing you with dirty shit SMS, you know? And you just have to start control it. You just say, you know, say no. Or he will do, he was continuous, you know? It's same, like, if you say no, fuck off, you know? He will stop, okay? If you won't say that, he will start pushing you more and more, you know? <laughs> and <laughs> one day, you won't remember that he was your slave. You will live you know normal like life being his slave <laughs> yeah the roles are uh are kind of blurry <laughs> so yeah once once i remember the day you know then uh, i was thinking okay i have to change things you know i was sitting in my car and i didn't want to go home where i had my girlfriend and i had my slave you know it could be the best like story you know you come in your house you have slaves that do everything you have very nice beautiful girl like your girlfriend you have good relationship <laughs> but you don't want to come back home because your slave <laughs> wants you to punish him and your girlfriend <laughs> wants you to fuck her that's a lot and of fucking responsibility on you <laughs> and they both are pushing on you you know writing you calling you 
and yeah. your heart tires, you know, you did two scenes or three scenes, you want to come home, have a rest, <laughs> but you have a girlfriend and slave. <laughs> fuck. Why don't you tell the slave to fuck your girlfriend? Yeah, it won't work. But the thing, no? you know, when my girlfriend left, uh, when, when she was leaving, she was trying to take one of my slaves, you know, when I said like, we're quit. And then I came in my house and I see she's talking with one of my slaves, like making him to leave with her, you know? So she was trying to take my second slave. I had like the second slave. And she was trying to take my second slave with her when she was leaving because she was like feeling good having slave in the house. And she just thought, okay, if I leave, I won't have my own slave and I'm fucked, you know? Yeah. So she was, yeah, and I told her she can use him, but not for a long time. So, <laughs> I mean, I think once you get accustomed to slavery life, it's hard to go back. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh, things are changing, you know. So, um, tell us uh, more about squirting. So, you know, I, I'm. I like to think of myself as. Uh, you know, someone who can make girls squirt a lot of the time. And I don't know a whole lot of other guys with the skill. But when I saw you make uh, Katya squirt, that was like on a whole nother fucking level. Like, you know, for me, they'll squirt, you know, little fucking, I don't know how you, you know, like they squirt, like the bed soaked. But for you, she was squirting like buckets. So... <laughs> What goes through, like, first, how do you do it? And second, what typically happens with girls? Like, in my experience, when, when you make a girl squirt, like, they, if they've never done that before, they're like, oh, my God, this totally blew my mind. And they'd be like, you know, they're insanely loyal after that. Um, but what you're doing is, like, on a whole nother level. So give us the story on that. Uh, okay. A long time ago, you know, like I, I, I was, I, I was laughing today. I hear like on, you know, on like one stand up uh, was, and uh, it was a guy, and he said, okay, uh, sex, I have like same like 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 a, like a fashion have story for every new season. In sex now, it is like uh, like two years ago Squirt. it was popular. Two years ago it was popular to hold like girl neck, you know, and everyone who knew how to hold girl neck was super top you know now it's like <laughs> squeeze start to be like mainstream you know like everyone thinks and everyone like talks like squirt is doing easy or like squirt is just pissing you know on stupid guys right so it is like everyone knows about that one part of people knows that girls are pissing on the guys and the other part knows that squirt it's easy to do easy to make okay but mm -hmm. Uh, in the real point, uh, nobody knows still. Like, same shit going on with the point G, you know, G point. Like, 20 mm -hmm. years ago, G point was very popular. Everyone was talking about that. Like, G spot. Like, even like, Tochko G spot. G. Even the, yeah. Yeah, even like the smartest guys were looking around, like, G spot, doing like, wow, it's something like special. But then they forgot. And uh, like BDSM showed up, all this shit started to be like more like delicious for people. And now it's back, you know. Uh, squirting. <laughs> squirting. It's back in style. And, but, it's but in it's, vogue. But, but, but it's even, but, but it's, it's even good because it's so popular and many guys are trying to make girls queered. But it is the worst feeling for the girls if they meet with guys that is trying to make, make girls queered and she never did it before. Okay, it is the worst stress for the girl. And when she meet the guy who's really know how to do it and makes it, it changed her mind. So she was on one side that squirt is just stupid pissing on the guys. She was right on this side. And now she turns like, okay, it is real. Okay, and it <laughs> right. really could be like fun. She's shocked. <laughs> She's shocked and uh, some of them like really like, going deep inside of this feeling and they can they can't even like speak you know they just like wow and it's like big wow effect 
you can make like girl you, you can be sure you will make girl fall in love in you when you make her scream you know yeah there's that shit you can do with her everything you want you can put your feet in her mouth you know you can make like you can sit on her face you do whatever you want you know you are the king if she is in the right way but you can understand when she feel pain you're fucked you're yeah. fucked so if you start doing squirt you have to be sure that you will make it because otherwise you are fucked and you have not so much time to fix the situation but still <laughs> you will have to make her squirt not in which do do? a bit later but you have to do it yeah the, I, the way i learned how to make a girl squirt was i was attending a lot of sex parties and i would see other guys do it and i just assumed my girlfriend couldn't and then a uh, guy fucked her and made her squirt and i'm like dude show me what the fuck you just did like and uh -huh. he showed me and i was like oh wow that's all you do it's it's actually pretty easy um yeah and then from then on like i think my success rate on getting girls to squirt is around 50 percent um, but you know is the thing uh, that squirt can be very different okay uh levels yeah so uh you have to feel you know when you start doing with squirt and it could be different ways how you can make feel girl like how you make girl high you know enough to the point you know she can squirt because if girl is not like high you know uh it is like you can squirt her you still can squirt her but it will be not such a good squirt you know because it is one way to make your squirting that you know she can squirt without stop like i don't know uh like liters liters you know and uh like really a lot like you can yeah. do it not like once or like like a 10 seconds you can do it like a one minute you know or like minute and a half you know on mm -hmm. uh, vitali's uh, party we did uh, with one girl squirt and she was squirting like i don't know like it was no end you know i i ended myself because my hands started to feel like tired you know <laughs> but and it was so much especially because it was on public you know public situation makes girl like really like turn on before i was practicing making girls squirt in the club you know uh they were on the dance floor really or easy you know on the dance floor okay if you're sticking in the girl pussy like fingers you can make her squirt so fast you know her mind start, start understanding that you're sticking your fingers right on the dance floor in the club in her pussy and she start like like she, to be like really turned on on that and you can make mm -hmm. her squirt very easy like in a couple of seconds you know i had many scenes uh in the in the clubs you know i did and uh girls were like squirting you know without because they were on public if you want to do it in the private yeah first of all you should fuck her okay it will guarantee you the higher result in the end for sure okay and uh, you yeah just had, every time straight. typically when i the best times for making a girl squirt is like i'll be fucking her and then i'll stop fucking her and then make her squirt that works way better yeah. for some reason mm -hmm. yeah 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 of course so and uh, then when you start doing squirt it is the thing to feel the girl while you're doing that and very like important for my practice to like to make it like like with effect you know to make girls scared you know you have to grab her you know like look in her eyes like grab her hair grab her like legs or like do something like 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 a strong you know make her a little bit like scared you know when girls mm -hmm. are scared they like turning on you know more like yeah yeah you have to yeah take her you know more control dominance. her block her you know mm -hmm. you have to be strong you know with her like forcing her but still you have to feel when she feel pain you know if you if you see that she feel pain do not continue that shit you know better stop and not like trying 
if girl squirts, she will squirt very fast. It's not taking time. You don't need three, two, three, four seconds. No, she squirts right away. So if you're a guy who, who hasn't made a girl squirt before and you want to start, what would you recommend? Uh, first, uh, you have to be like, um, you have to know some things, you know, about squirt. So when you have information, how it works, more information, you know in which situation you can use the moment and make your squirt and uh, uh, you yeah when you have information you feel more like comfortable maybe with a girl okay you know what you're doing uh, and uh, in in the way you start making your squirt you know you have to know what you're doing with your fingers inside okay directly what you have to do, how long, in which way, and how hard, and what you should feel with your fingers to start making girls squirt, you know? Before you start feeling that, you know, you shouldn't do that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it is some small, like, advice, like, uh, features, you know, like, you just know, and then you can practice. Yeah, more practice, you know? More practicing, uh until it will be the moment when you will start feeling that it will happen you know yeah for me it's always pretty obvious because there's a sound uh it's like like a mm -hmm. that sort of sound that starts going and then you know you feel like the the fluid kind of building up and then you know then they squirt but it's it's they won't know I'm make trying to make them squirt until they've already squirted. Like I've, I've, and that's like the best feeling is when the girl says, "Oh no, I don't squirt." Blah blah. blah. Okay, whatever. And but just... okay, uh, it is two different ways, you know. Um, like girls can squirt uh, like a, like a big drop, like <laughs> yeah, and girls can squirt like like a small pee, you know, like. Blip, blip, uh -huh. blip. And uh, it is two different things, you know? And when you're like dripping, you know, she won't fall down on the floor, okay? Yeah. But when she, girl like <laughs> dropping, like, like, like a whole liter, you know, of squirt in a second, like boom, you know, she can fall down right in with like squirt on the floor. <laughs> so what's the difference? Or how, how do you know the difference? Uh, you feel it inside with your fingers. You, it just feels more powerful? Like 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 a ball inside. A ball, okay. Ball inside, yeah. Hmm. I think I can sort of, yeah. And do you think it's just depending on the girl in that case? Or is there something you do to get her to that point? You do you do preparation with your cock. Uh, if you, it is uh, special positions, you know, some positions you can make squirt even without fingers with your cock. If girl like easy squirting, she can squirt even without fingers with a cock only. Mm -hmm. And uh, still you can use these positions to make girl high, uh, like high point of uh, being ready for like high level squirt, okay? What positions? <laughs> you go directly, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my English is not so good, so. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, do your best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one position is uh, when you're lying and you're lying to you and your legs are crossing and you're like sticking your dick in her pussy uh, with legs are crossing, you know, like, 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 uh, 
you have to be super hard and uh, when you're cr crossing with her legs by with yours like you know like lesbians do you know like touching each scissoring. other scissoring yeah uh, like inclusive. scissoring yeah they call that scissoring with your ah. and when your car is like pushing on the front uh side of pussy you know mm -hmm. uh and getting out like boom yeah it can comes out with with a squirt you know so she's are so you're basically like your legs are like yeah this. like like girl and you like a call girl then you drop uh -huh. her on the bed and you start putting your cock inside crossing your legs and then she just like okay against of you lying and like going on and your dick is pushing on the front side of pussy but it is one very difficult position to make girls squirt. I, of course it is one easy way easier way to make her squirt. uh you just uh, put her doggy okay mm -hmm. and you go slowly you go slowly as deep as you can go you know you're not like trying to be fast or you're not like hurrying up you're just making her turn on you know you going deep as deep as it's possible but she, she should not feel like bad you know it's not pain it's not about pain you know it should be like for her making like good that you're going deep you know you mm -hmm. go as deep as it's possible being deep inside moving just a little bit you know like deeper more deeper even deeper than was deep before you know and then you yeah. grab her uh you grab her and start holding you her so she's like kind of doggy behind of you but you already grab her you know closer to you you pick her, her up you know and okay. continue fox very deep okay and mm -hmm. which way your like cock will pushing same front and uh, of her insides okay and when it goes out you know like boom, and it comes out with a square really often hmm. interesting so slow and deep and then you pick yeah, her up same, and then violently so every position you can push with your cut on the front part of her insides where her g-spot is basically Yes, the G-spot. Yes, that's why I was talking yeah. about, about G-spot. You're mm -hmm. pushing on G-spot. Right. But fun for girls, you know, like the girls, like, especially, yeah, I, I, I practice, I, I'm practicing like anal sex with every girl, you know, even if girl never had this kind of practice. And uh, it is like fun to make girls squeer through anal, you know, with your fingers. It works cool too. You're telling me about that. So, but you to get to the G spot from her ass, you basically have to go like her pussy holes in the way. Yeah, you just go directly there. You just go harder. Yeah, you just go harder, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Any position you recommend for that? Uh, same position it's with you your can, fingers you can use same position like she's doggy on front like usually of you. okay so i the only way i can get a girl to squirt is if she's lying on her back on the bed and i'm next to her kind of on my knees and like basically violently like going like this to her pussy i don't know if you can see me um yeah but like if she's doggy style and I'm trying to make her squirt, like I don't have enough power uh -huh. unless she's like a real easy squirter to like do that. You know, like there's not enough leverage. But that's, when girls uh, standing, they squirt very good. Standing, yeah. Makes sense. You just sit down and make her squirt from under. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should do a uh there's some really shitty products out there on like, uh, there's this thing called the white tiger Tantra squirting uh -huh. manual <laughs> from this guy, I know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we, uh, you, you could come out with a much better squirting product. <laughs> you know, it was fun when we had a party and one uh, friend of my friend calls, uh, said that all like 
squirts I'm doing, it's all fake. And he said, no way, you know, like it couldn't be fake. And he said, okay, I will come to you and I will tell you, I, I will tell you that it's fake. Your friend Timur is faking. And like, he came to me and he's like, kind of like one of the most richest guys in my city, you know, was, and he comes to me and he said, Hey Timur. So my friend telling me that you're like, you're like, uh, treating us you're like it's fake you know you're doing fake it's not real spirit like tell me like true please if it was just for show i'm okay but it is fake yeah i said no it's real he said okay so i put ten thousand dollar and he comes and you can like make girl squirt easy to show him i said yeah of course so he came and we made the party and it was like like 15 girls around on this party and everyone was kind of you know like having fun and then he said, okay, let's, wait, let's try, you know, let's make girls weird. I said, okay, I can take girl. No, he's like, no, 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 you know, I, I won't, I don't want you to take the girl. I show you the girl and you make her weird because my friend told me that you can make every girl weird. And I don't want you to make girls weird if you know her. I said, yeah, it is like kind of more difficult. He said, okay, if you can't make it, you know, you can't make it. I said, oh, of course I will do it, you know. And I start kissing with a girl, like it was kind of dance floor, but in the apartment, in the house, you know? Yeah. And she was high because of public, you know, people looking on her and she squirts, you know? And then he said, okay, she was fake. And uh, like real girl would not let you make her squirt when other people are looking on that. So he didn't believe. And after we went in the club, oh no. Uh, next day we went in the club together and it was like a shotka party it was uh, like a party where people go crazy you know so we took a table and he said okay try to make girls feel like from the club girls that you don't know like just walking you know like 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 on the streets you know mm -hmm. so i picked up the girl and make her spirit right on our table you know <laughs> and i didn't know her so the funniest thing was that I took her phone number and next day, like in a couple of days, I called her and I said, hey, come on, let's meet up. And she said, oh, sorry, I remember you. You are very cool, but I have a boyfriend. So <laughs> I said, yeah, but I was making this video like a couple of days ago. She said, yeah, but it was on party. Uh, and my, <laughs> Doesn't count. Like, five, you know, I have a relationship, sorry. <laughs> Which is the way La Satka party was going out, you know? Yeah. It was the craziest shit. Fuck. The most crazy <laughs> shit I saw, you know? So people could do there wherever they want, okay? So mm -hmm. it is easy to see people like some of them were trying to have sex, girls were showing her pussies. Uh, you can come in a men's toilet and see the girls pissing in a men's like toilet, you know, like standing in a <laughs> pissoir. Crazy, this is at a nightclub. No, it is the parties we were making with one my friend. Oh, private parties. We were doing with party. No, 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 in the club. We could take yeah. every club and make party in the club. So you rent out the club and do your own party there? Uh, no, we did it in the club. Like, but it was only people you invited, or is everyone can no, come to the club? No, everyone who wants. Facebook. Oh, okay. No, uh, take a look on uh, YouTube. I think they have videos still. And they the still doing some party. Loshatka. Loshatka party. Loshatka. Okay. Yeah, this is the hardest shit, you know? Hmm, never heard of it. I'll check it out. I'll post a link under the thing too so other people can look. So anyone, uh, anyone else have any questions for Timo about squirting or anything? If you do, feel free to interrupt and fire them out. Um, <laughs> fuck, so crazy. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we talked about that is, uh, we need to talk about. I'm sure there'll be something that I remember. I'm like, fuck, we should have talked about that. But, <laughs> um, no, man, it's been great. Thanks for coming on and, uh, sharing all the stories. You're welcome. <laughs> And uh, how how are things in Georgia with the uh, with the quarantine? I know there's only like thirty cases there or something. Uh, you know, seems like they are like controlling the situation good. 
you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the big difference between Russia and Georgia, they do everything immediately in, mm -hmm. the, in the right way, you know, very fast action, very fast. In one day, they turned off everything and they really turned it off. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like in Russia, okay, in four days, you should stop with. In five days, let's stop that. And next week, everyone stays at home. No, they did immediately in the same day. Bam. Wow. Not like we're taking it's kinda, time. It's like what they feel. did in Ukraine too. Same sort of feel. thing. Yeah. Same, yeah? Yeah. They did everything fast. Yeah. So is, yeah, is Russia, it boring there they, right now? It's kind of boring, everyone, everything's closed? Everyone, everyone can take own time. Yeah, like take your time, whatever you need, right. you know? Yeah. So it's kind of boring. Is your girlfriend still stuck in St. Petersburg? Yeah, she's stuck there. Uh, Are you uh, still happy yeah. about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's, it's still this moment didn't come when I start feel like, okay, I'm missing, you know. Uh, I think I like... I, I, I don't remember, you know, like maybe when girl is super fresh, you know, super new you can miss her i mean like when it starts you know okay you want to see her everywhere right and then just, yeah. yeah even on the trainings you know we were training even together you know so right it's sometimes it's starting to be too much so mm -hmm. you have to have a rest and uh some people are going crazy if they have like girlfriend or like even wife and kids you know in 24 hours they are locked so you have to talk about all your problems you know you could be saved from them oh last, last question have you ever had a girl that you never got bored of uh you know my girlfriend yes my girlfriend mm -hmm. i have now so i'm not like bored with her but uh yes with her it, it it is some type of special you know situation you know because before like not really long time ago you know i was feeling absolutely happy you know with her and i was mm -hmm. not thinking about that i need even like some free time you know i was completely happy but of course like every girl she start pushing you pushing you and you know, in the end, I got tired of always pushes. You know, she was dreaming about like different life. You know, she was dreaming about life like Instagram have, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. not dreaming about this type of life. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this, is, this is not my dream. You know, we have different dreams. Yeah. So, and it starts to show up, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not bored of her, but you still don't want to see her. <laughs> no, I. you know, the thing is, I would like to see her if I would knew that in every, like, next, any, like, next moment, I can stay, like, free again, you know? But the thing is, you never know when it will be, like, finished again for you and you will have some free time, you know? Because you have to be busy 20 fucking four hours around of her, you know, you're her slave, you know, and everyone right. who's in the relationship, I think, knows what's that. Yep. <laughs> so you're, you're a kind of slave, you know, for totally. your girlfriend. Especially in Eastern Europe. It's, uh, yeah, different dynamic even here. If you, if, even if you feel cool, you know, she's still mm -hmm. using you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well fuck man that's uh i think that's a good place to leave off i've got a house full of people here that need some entertainment um okay so thanks so much for uh for coming on and uh okay it was nice to see you guys <laughs> yeah man Sorry, I, didn't show up. I don't feel so good <laughs> <laughs> for showing up yeah thanks buddy i'll talk to you soon Yay, yeah, bye-bye.
Bye bye to everyone. Thanks for listening. If you want more, go to innerconfidence.com and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast for the latest episodes.